What's going on, everybody? You know who it is. This is your boy, that guy, the dry nude here. And it's been a while since I did an updated graphic settings and a key binding settings. So I figured I'd go through that real quick with you guys. Um, so here's my display. I'm going to kind of quickly go through all of this so you guys can see. I'm on a custom resolution and uh, I'm on uh, 16 by 10, which is like a wider aspect ratio than 16 by 9. And this is pretty much everything here. I have a custom frame rate. Frame rate limits on 300. I could take it off, but I like to have a steady 60 and uh, uh, menus. Um, eco mode, make sure you turn that off. I don't have any of this shader optimization, none of that. Regular display, brightness. I actually did change my brightness. Uh, my brightness is now at 60, courtesy to Rocket for hooking the boy up. High dynamic range is off. So now I'm going to go to uh, quality. So uh, I have it on custom render resolution, like I said, is on um, 2304 by 1440. I did a video on that. Um, if you guys want to go check that out, my upscaling, I have it at 100 fidelity cast. Anti-aliasing is SMAA 2X, uh, anti-aliasing quality low. I have my texture resolution on normal, and I'm just kind of going to go here. Uh, I have a custom config, so that's why you guys see the clutter draw distance to set to nothing. Uh, particle quality low, very low. Bullet impacts I have on. Uh, usually I turn this off when I'm on mouse and keyboard, but I've been playing on controller for the past couple of days, so I'm having that turn that back off. Shader quality is medium, tessellation off, and then these are all the settings uh, right here. Uh, ambient occlusion is off, and then uh, I have NVIDIA Reflex on plus boost, depth of field and all that stuff is off. And I go to view, um, 120 affected wide. Uh, I keep going back from wide to default. I don't know which one I like yet. I think I like wide more because the weapon looks smaller and takes up less uh, space on my screen. Um, least on here, um, on all of these actually first person ADS and game perspective. That's that right there. Now we can go over my uh, key binds or these are my mouse settings. Uh, so if I'm playing on five right now, um, I upped it for more of a challenge on my aim training uh, that I've been doing. So uh, I was getting really used to it. So I upped the sensitivity. I am playing anywhere between a four and a five sensitivity at 800 DPI, okay? And this is what everything looks like here. Uh, ADS sensitivity multiplier, gradual, um, one ADS sense multiplier focus, all that. I'm actually on 1.33 right now. Um, I go back and forth between 1.33 and 1.78. For Warzone, I really like 1.33 or the Jedi coefficient, which 1.21, I really do like that one. Um, for Warzone specifically, I feel like it just slows my aim down just enough so I can have that precise aim. And I, I really do like 1.21 also um, at five. Uh, if I'm at four, I, that kind of goes up to 1.33 or anywhere between four and five. If I'm on four, I usually play at 1.78. And then if I'm on like a five, I usually play at 1.33 or 1.21, depending on uh, how I'm feeling that day. Okay. Custom. Uh, Zoom, per sensitivity, I have that off, and then all that. Now we're gonna go here to gameplay. I have uh, toggle, 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 automatic sprint off, single tap to run, and then close backpack on sprint on, automatic airborne mantle off, uh, share, slide, and dive inputs. I have them independent. I don't want to, uh, yeah, I have them independent. It really helps out with snaking. Um, movement, advanced settings. I really don't have anything in here that is uh, too much from the default besides parachute, auto deploy, automatic ramp mantle, all those things. Now we're going to go down into here, hold, focus, equipment behaviors, hold, interact, press, double tap, the mount, armor plate, apply all, and then either so advanced combat settings on, um, depleted ammo, weapon switch. I actually want to have that off. Weapon reach around that uh, weapon switch wrap around, not the reach around. What am I talking about? Wrap around. Uh, that basically means that I'm able to press uh, three for my next weapon and my previous weapon. So it's just one button. I really like this feature and I really wish all games had this to where I can only press like one button if I want to go from like my pistol to my AR. 
Uh, I really do like that. Weapon mount on uh, movement exit, yes. Sprint pauses reload, yes. Weapon mount delay short, I have it short as possible. Uh, C4 quick detonation, um, I want this on. Okay, I don't know why that's off. Uh, just from reading this, pressing lethal equipment, F detonus is C4, or throw in another. Yes, I want that on. Mantle, fire behavior press, and score streak, uh, or kill streak, or uh, reordering numerical order. Uh, that's just like normal stuff. So, got that. And then uh, these are all the settings here. Um, backpack behaviors toggle, backpack mouse cursor on, all these things. Okay. So, and then I got my key bindings here, and these are what you guys probably are wondering. I usually play standard WASD, and I am a, uh, a millennial, I guess you could say, where I press E to interact. I never press F to interact because I actually press F to throw my throwing knives and my equipment. Um, caps lock, crouch slide, because I, I, I can never go uh, press control. And the only reason why I have cap slot on crouch and slide is because playing CSGO, that was like my crouch behavior was cap lock, and it allowed me to move freely while just having my pinky like close. So uh, instead of like stretching my pinky all the way down. So if you guys didn't know that, I, I use caps lock for that. Sprint, autofocus, shift. I only press shift once to go into a tactical sprint. Um, fire a weapon, aim down sight, reload, next weapons, all that good stuff. Weapon mount is Z, or I just double tap ADS. My melee is my middle mouse button. Uh, lethal equipment, tactical equipment, all, all that good stuff. You guys could see. Um, combat advanced key binds, I is interact, B is to change fire mode, control is to focus, but I actually press shift to focus. So this is irrelevant. Um, and then this is all these my kill streaks that I press to call it my kill streaks. Build upgrades X, armored plate. Now I actually have my armor plate on uh mouse wheel down just because I like to press that real quick while I'm running. Um what else do we have here? Uh vehicle advanced keybinds. I really don't mess with that. This is just all like standard stuff. Um what else do we have? Ping. I have my ping set to my mouse four. That's pretty much just standard. And then this is pretty much it, guys. So these are all my key bindings. Nothing too crazy. Um, and this is pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, I'm just going to say, I'm just going to say that copying my, uh, my key bindings aren't going to make you a good player. I always suggest like finding your own and uh working around that and something that's universal to whatever uh games that you play kind of make it to where like oh you heal by pressing q well maybe in that other game you want to heal by pressing q or something like that that's what i kind of my methodology when it comes to playing uh multiple games uh so guys that's going to be it for today's video always better to stay blessed and stay humble and i'll catch you in another one peace